CES is great for an early look at all kinds of tech, but the things I tend to remember from these shows are the crazy concepts that may not ever make it into the real world. This is one of those. A Windows notebook with not one, not two, but three 4K displays. It's Razer's Project Valerie, and it's Mr. Mobile's first look. Where do you even start with something as improbable, as extravagant as this? Well, I'll take a page from Windows Central's hands-on and start with the foundation. The heart of the Project Valerie machine is Razer's Blade Pro notebook. With the same mechanical keyboard and offset trackpad, the same aluminum construction, the same high-end guts, powerful enough to run even a VR rig. There's also the same 17-inch 4K display as on the Blade Pro, of course multiplied three times. The panels feature LED underlighting that might seem a little excessive, until you remember that this entire thing is 100% pure excess. So it should come as no surprise that you're not expected to manhandle the displays open and shut yourself. The machine is designed to deploy and retract the side panels all on its own. Now, I say designed to because the models I saw in Las Vegas were just prototypes. Only the one under protective glass out on the show floor was built with the auto-deploy mechanics in place. Also, a laptop this huge necessarily brings some compromises. It's 12 pounds, all told, which is what my old HP Pavilion and power brick weighed about a decade ago. Battery life is a concern, too, with all those pixels to push. And then there's price. The Razer Blade Pro, that's the single-screen notebook available today, starts at $3,700. Can you imagine what a Project Valerie machine would cost if it ever made it to market? But again, like all prestige plays, this thing isn't meant to be evaluated with a practical eye. While there are certainly functional uses for this much screen acreage on a laptop, the gaming applications are obvious and I'd like to try editing video on it, this is a because-we-can exercise, a play for eyeballs. And judging by all the love it's getting at the Razer booth here at CES, that play seems to be working out just fine. No word on whether it'll ever hit shelves anywhere, but if it does, I'll certainly be one of the first in line to try it out. Only the craziest of gadgets make it to the Mr. Mobile YouTube channel, folks. To see every weird and wondrous thing I stumble across at CES, be sure to follow me on Snapchat at Mr. Mobile Snaps. Stay tuned for more from Vegas. Thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends. Mm -hmm.